Okay, so today we're going to talk about alliteration. Alliteration is the repetition of the same letter or sound at the beginning of words that are closely connected. Okay, we've talked about a little bit of this before. Okay, so one example, Peter Piper pecked a peck of pickled peppers. Have y'all ever heard that? No. No. Peter pickled. You haven't heard that pickled. one? I know. Yeah. I'm a little bit too young for that one. <laughs> Read them. <laughs> Okay. Well, how about uh, she sells seashells by the seashore? No. 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 Prince heard these. A big, a big brown bear bounced the ball. Oh, wow. I heard that one. I heard that one. These are examples of alliteration. I think I have one more. Sally's sweet and sour sauce was sensational. See that repetition of the S's? That's alliteration. Okay, the slippery snake slithered silently in the sand. I've heard that one too. Yeah? Yeah? yeah. yeah. You heard some of them? Okay, so today we are going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about. We're going to be using this alliteration choice, choice board, which is also in Google Classroom. Um, you are going to pick one of these assignments to demonstrate your understanding of alliteration. Okay, so you're going to prove to me that you know that alliteration is the repetition of those first letters. Okay, so you're going to either do a poem. You can write a short poem using at least three examples of alliteration. Okay. So remember, you can have two or three words together with the same start of your of your word to be alliteration. Okay, so you could do a high Q if you wanted to. Seven, five, seven. Right, high We don't talk about poetry. You could do a piece of artwork. You could create a piece of art that illustrates an. Alertive phrase or sentence. Okay, so you can use alliteration in a piece of artwork. You can write a story that has alliteration in it. Okay, if you're going to write your story, it needs to have three instances of alliteration. Okay. Uh, you could write a tongue twister like the ones we just saw. Peter Peter Piper got me right. Peter, Peter Piper. Peter, no, no. <laughs> Peter no. Piper pecked it. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Is what yes. Oh, no, that's what we have. Peppers. I've never heard of pickled peppers. They're a thing. Um, they really are. Yeah. Yeah. So you can write your own tongue twister that uses alliteration. You, put on the table. you could choose a song that uses alliteration. Please make sure it's appropriate for school. Okay, um, so you can just highlight the part of the song that has alliteration in it, um, and then when you get with your partner, you're going to talk about it with your partner. I'll work alone. Okay, you could also do an alliteration video. You can create a short video 